This mod review is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And we're back here for another mod review. And today, LS Farming Dash Mods has three more great mods for us to take a look at. Uh, there is a link in the description to that website. And I will start with this disclaimer. That website does require you to have an account before you can download. But trust me, it is well worth it. Uh, this is the same website that brought you the bale counter mod, the round baler extension mod, uh, the automatic unload for bale wrappers mod. I did a video that profiled all three of those here a few weeks ago. And today I bring you three more from the same group. First up, we're going to look at a, a mod that locks the steering axle of steering axle trailers. Uh, this can be quite helpful, in my view, uh, in backing up these darn things. Uh, I sometimes have the worst time in backing up a steering axle trailer uh, because the, the steering axle basically wants to autocorrect, uh, and next thing I know, the trailer is going the wrong direction. So we're going to start with this Crone ZX560GD because I know that this particular trailer does have a steering axle. Go. And we're just going to go ahead and lease this. Go ahead and get tractor long. We're going to get the Fent Vario 700. Lease that up. And let's show you how this thing works. So we'll pull up the F1 menu. And we'll see when we back up to this. Connect to it. And we now have a new option in our F1 menu, the comma. It says lock steering axle. Let's just turn. Okay, so now we can see the front and rear axles of this trailer have turned. Turn to the other angle. The other way, you can see that they have now turn the other direction okay if we do a comma you'll see that they now turn straight we do a comma again we unlock now we lock unlock locked unlocked so where this comes into play in my opinion is backing up I mean you want these steering axles to turn uh, when you're in the field and trying to get around because it definitely helps helps make these trailers turn but uh, for me, when I'm trying to back these things up and be precise, sometimes the lock steering axle can, can get in my way. I just comma, click straighten up. And now for me, the trailer is going to back up in a much more consistent and reliable manner. Now, it has come to my information uh, that this particular mod does have an interesting conflict. Pull up the log here, see where we have purchased uh, the trailer and such. Well, turns out that this mod has an interesting conflict with a mod that was released just this week, and that is the bag lifter, the the bag and lift uh, mod that's over at the Giants Mod Hub. Uh, there is an interesting bug with the lock steering axle mod. If you try to use both of these at the same time. Now this is what happens. So you get an interesting error where you get a Lua error, uh, and it relates to the lock steering axles. Um, basically, it's trying to, uh, I guess it's trying to find an axle on this mod, and clearly it doesn't have an axle, so it's, it's tossing an error. So if you want to use this bag and lift product, you're going to have to take the lock steering axle out of your mods folder. Uh, and that's not saying that the lock steering axle has a problem. It is completely, completely understandable how two mods would conflict with each other. Uh, but it's just important to note 
that there is a conflict there. So if you want to use both, you're not going to be able to. You're going to have to pick one or the other. Now, let's take a look at the next mod, which is a placeable, portable um, workshop. It's basically a box. We got the portable toolbox, $50. And the way this works is really simple. Let's go here and put it here on the ground. Okay. Here. We've already done a video on one of these placeable toolboxes, but what's interesting with this one is I can pick it up. The other toolbox that I did a video on, you can't pick it up. It's basically you put it down and it's permanently where it is. This one you can pick up. You gotta be careful when you're walking around with this thing. If it drops, you're gonna have to uh, get it back up. I wanna show you why here in a minute. Okay. Now that we have it sitting on its bottom properly, the way this works is we would bring it up to our tractor set it down okay you stand in front of the toolbox and we get a repair R now we can return this we can can't customize it we owned it let's see something that... let's go and buy something right uh, let's pick Pick this, it's got some options. Buy it. Pick it up. Walk it over here. Set it down. R. Now we can customize tires on it. Attacher on it. And there we go. Okay. So if we basically set this thing beside here, okay, come up here, we hit R, we don't get anything. That's because if we look at the trigger box here, okay, we have a trigger box behind it and in front of it. Okay. If we come up behind it, we don't get the R button. So the the activate trigger is in front of the box and the basically the repair trigger uh, what it uses to decide what's you know what can be repaired is behind the box okay now what that means is if we are if we've made a oops a daisy and we get this thing on its face okay there's no way to activate look I'm walking all the way around it no way to hit R because that trigger is now under the ground. Okay. If we manage to put this thing on its back okay, like this, we can hit R, but there's no way to repair anything because the trigger that it uses to decide, um, you know, what's in range is now under the ground. Okay. So it's very important if you use this, must be sitting up on its front. Okay, if it's on any other side, it might not work properly. But there you go. And also another good point. Don't lose this thing. Okay, if I pick it up and I put it over here on this little wall. Okay, if I save the game and come back in, it's going to be right here on the wall. Okay. If I put this in the back of a truck, straps don't hold it down. Okay, that's important to know. Put this in the back of this pickup truck. For some reason, straps don't hold it down. Probably because it's not being detected as a pallet or a bale. Seem to be the only things that, uh, that straps actually hold this thing up right through the strap okay so 
can't put this in the back of a truck and strap it down. It's going to fly all over the place. If you lose this thing, you're going to have to go in here to the shop, go to the garage, and sell it because it does not put a does not put a hot spot on the map. Well, if it put a little uh, repair hot spot on the map, and then you could basically know where your toolbox was left. Uh, but just like in real life, misplace your toolbox, it is gone for good. I have to buy yourself a new one. Let's put this over here so we don't misplace it. And now the last mod in this trio is is just outstanding. I love this trailer. Uh, this is the Lizard Universal trailer. Find it here under trailers under tools. No. We can find this trailer here under miscellaneous, under tools. And this trailer is awesome because it comes in so many different varieties and it's so cheap. Base price $2,800. It will hold all kinds of liquids, 8,000 liters. Let's see what it holds. It holds water, milk, liquid fertilizer, herbicide, fuel, um, don't know why milk is listed twice. Don't know what the deal with those are. Oh, it holds bales too because it's a flatbed. Okay. So let's take a look here. So we can get barrel standard. It's nice um, galvanized steel looking look. Get barrel stainless. Get a fuel tank. Nice, you know, flammable logo there on the back. We've got a a, a fire extinguisher, <laughs> like that. Like if if this thing's on fire, like that little fire extinguisher is going to be good. I I think this thing's on fire and this thing doesn't do anything. You're going to need to run. You're going to need to run fast. Got the bale loading wagon, and this will hold several bales straight across. You can only put one row, but this will hold. Probably one, two, three, four. Might hold five bales. You could probably put ten bales on here without it being too bad. And a new addition to this trailer, because I used this trailer in Farm Sim 17 uh, when I was, you know, trying to play on the cheap, starting out. Uh, now you can have forestry, forestry stakes. So this can be a nice forestry trailer for the new, new starting out farmer. You can easily haul six meter logs on this thing without too much problem. Might not be able to put uh, too many logs on there before it gets a little top heavy, but uh, for $2,800 to have a forestry trailer, heck yeah, I'd do that. As far as wheels, we've got the Lizard brand in standard or wide, and unlike some of these mods, uh, the wide tires don't look all that bad. They look they look pretty good. Go to Nokian also. Those are our tire options. And let's go ahead and just lease a couple different variants of this trailer. Let's take a look at it. Got the log trailer. Got really nice textures here on the the wood. And everything it does have a rear hitch that does work so you could chain all these together if you wanted to so here's the standard trailer that nice galvanized steel look pipe on the back with the valve gauge does work the stainless steel tank fuel tank and the flatbed so the only downside to this would be is if you are super adverse to uh, to a dolly trailer but this is scaled very nice to work with a truck if you're starting out pickup you can use this to haul bales around haul uh, haul lumber and everything So there you go guys, we've got three more mods from the LS Farming Group 
We've got the Lizard Universal trailer here. We've got the placeable portable toolbox. And we've got the locking steering axle. Let me know in the comments what you think of any or all three of these mods. And until next time, happy farming.